next year comes Roger Clark taking part in National Bagel Day. He will join us from Astoria when Mornings on One continues. You, uh, you may be eating a bagel now as you watch us. Did you know that today is National Bagel Day? Did you know that? I didn't know that until I walked in this morning <laughs> yeah. and there were bagels. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> Annika's ready. <laughs> Was it somebody to save a bagel for me? There's a bagel for me a somewhere, bagel. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I did ask for a cinnamon raisin. Roger Clark took an informal poll of bagel shops in each borough. Uh, he joins us now with the, the bagel shop that led the poll in Queens. Roger, where are you? Well, that's right, Pat. Welcome to Astoria, and this is, go figure, Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee Company. <laughs> we'll explain that in a bit. But this was the top vote getter in Queens. Uh, Peter Boyage, it's good to see you. Nice you guys you. opened uh, Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee Company 16 years ago, but you're from Queens. Just paying homage to Brooklyn. Right, yeah. uh, I mean, I think over the years people thought Brooklyn, you know, had pretty darn good bagels, right? Yeah, very good bagels. It's not because uh, Brooklyn is so hot these days. 16 years ago when we opened, it's, it wasn't as hot as it is today. So. It was just Brooklyn. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 good yeah, old fashioned. Yeah, yeah. And so you guys do it the old fashioned way here, and that's why they're so delicious. Yeah. Uh, hand rolled, kettle boiled, New York water, uh, New York customers. We all play part of it. And your partner, John Rocchio, this is great. You guys are, you guys are civil engineers, <laughs> which is like, you guys are smart. You're building bridges, and now you're building bagels. I love it. Well, it's a logical transition, right? <laughs> you know, we're mixing concrete, and then, you know, we started mixing dough. So, yeah, you know, it was, you know, we met in, yeah, we met in college, and, you know, we're doing construction, and then, you know, we transitioned into bagels. Oh, my gosh. Well, congratulations on the first place in my poll. I don't know if that means anything, but it's great to be here. Thanks. Thank you very much. New Yorkers consider themselves experts on many things, including bagels. This is National Bagel Day. Uh, we asked all of you, which are the best shops in the city? It's not a scientific poll, but it gave us uh, an informal result. Roger Clark is with us from the location in Queens that won the poll. Hi, Roger. Yeah, Pat, not scientific at all, just on my Twitter and Facebook pages, but that's about it. But yeah, Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee Company in Queens. Long story, but yeah, you got to let's uh, just thank the owners here, John and uh, Peter, for having us. And of course, the boys back here I've been hanging out with, George and John and Ricky. Ricky, you in there? You got Ricky? All right, he's just making sure. <laughs> he said I was in his way. <laughs> we want to make sure Ricky's in the shot. <laughs> we don't want to, but yeah. <laughs> So there you go. So that, and then again, here we are. The Queens winner is Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee Company. In it's Queens. on Dittmar's Boulevard. You got one on 30th Avenue. You also have in Queens. That's right. And, and <laughs> all right. So you're probably wondering why? Why did these guys? Why did John and Peter name this place Brooklyn? Well, 16 years ago when they opened, before Brooklyn was like some hot thing, Brooklyn was known for a couple of things: great pizza, great egg creams, and great bagels. So why not put Brooklyn on it, even if you're in Queens? New Yorkers pause to celebrate National Bagel Day. So we wanted to know who makes the best bagel in town. Our Roger Clark has the results of our informal poll. You boil them, you bake them, and the hand-rolled dough becomes a delicacy that many New Yorkers could never do without. Fluffy on the inside and, and crispy on the outside, and uh, perfectly, perfectly hand-rolled, beautiful. The bagel came to New York with Eastern European immigrants in the 19th century and has been a breakfast staple ever since. For National Bagel Day, I did a not-so-scientific social media poll to see who makes the best in town. And here in Queens, don't let the name throw you off, Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee Company, which has three Astoria locations and one in Chelsea, too. It was opened 16 years ago by civil engineers Peter Voyages and John Rocchio, who went from mixing concrete to mixing ingredients for the perfect bagel. It's a hand-rolled bagel. It's the old-fashioned way hand-rolled. We kettle boil it. Um, the water has something to do with it, too, of course. We're always, you know, we're always uh, you know, tasting and testing our own products, so, no, we never get sick of it. Now, of course, one of the age-old questions for folks who love bagels is, to toast or not to toast? I'm a toast bagel guy, so I like um, extra well done and as crispy as possible. Some people would argue if it's, if it's nice and fresh right out of the oven, why would you need to toast it? Yeah. Uh, just like the, the crunchiness. Well, I would never toast a fresh bagel, but in the world of bagels, to each his own. Schmear, don't schmear. Butter or cream cheese, lox, whitefish. What really matters, and this is key, it has to have a hole in the middle, or else it's just not a bagel.
In Queens, Roger Clark, New York One.